Hello everyone, it's the Will in Red Fox and welcome to my world. So today we're actually going to be doing something a little different, but before that, let's quickly jump into our first time lapse of the episode and get another section of the tunnel completed. And with that, we have now got another section onto this tunnel. So why don't we head topside and uh, yeah, let's talk about what we're going to do today. So today we're actually going to step away from the hard build and actually sort out our storage issue. But first, we need to go to the end. So the reason why we came out to the end is actually to head to the ender seas so we can actually start getting some sulker cells. But before that, we're going to actually need some ender pearls. So let's build a little platform and uh, yeah, let's collect some ender pearls. We just need to head over to the end cities and uh yeah see what we can get so that is the little gateway so let's get up there and uh transfer through okay so if i remember correctly all i have to do is take an ender pearl and throw it through this gate so uh here it goes oh perfect and we got the advancement remote gateway and uh let's see do we actually have a village well an ender city present it doesn't look like we have one in the local vicinity but well, we can start moving around now so is that another gate over there oh how strange we just came from the one over there and there's another one in the distance over this way so getting between these islands could either be a great thing or a horrible thing Ooh, that was uh that's a little risky that one uh let's just, yeah like i was saying it could be a good thing or it could be a real bad thing i think it's probably best i don't risk this and uh yeah let's get some building materials out oh I think we've just found our first ender city. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Doesn't look like it's got much to it. I, normally, the ender cities have, like, tendrils coming off of it, and, yeah, that just looks like it's just a tower. Now, it's a shame it doesn't have a ship on it by the looks of it, because at least with a ship, then we have a better chance of getting a elytra. But, hey, let's go over there and see what we can find. And there we have it. We're actually here now. Um... It doesn't look like there's much going on with this tower, but hey, let's see what we can find inside. Now, I know shulker shells can be... Oh, there's a advancement made there. The city of the end. Oh, so like homing missiles. Great. Okay. So this might one of my first times actually coming to a ender city. So I'm not quite used to this, but hey. So I can hit the projectiles back with my sword, which is good. And I just got the first shulker shell. That's amazing. Now, the reason why I brought 18 pieces of wood with me, because that's the exact amount of wood that's needed to make nine shulker shells. And then I can start filling up my inventory with shulker shells and getting more inventory out of this. So hopefully I can bring most of the things we find in here back. That must be my lucky day. We've already got two shells. Until I fall down. Ah, there we go. If I just crafting table, a chest, and some shulker shell. There we are. Our first shulker. Now, so if I put this down and throw everything in here, so that way I can up my inventory a bit more and then only keep the necessary things perfect so break this so let's head through the rest of this tower see if we can get some more this looks like it's gonna be fun ah oh there's shulkers in this great oof they do hit for some damage don't they maybe it should have been wise to bring a bow well you live and you learn wow this is gonna be annoying hopefully when i land here they probably won't see me how am i gonna do this oh well there's plenty of iron there very nice. Curse of Vanishing. Well, that doesn't sound too good, but all right. And then you've got all the nice little chest plates and everything. So I'm going to keep all the pickaxes. The main reason being is that I'm going to have all the mending and unbreaking and everything with the efficiency as well. And I think it'll be good to have a massive shulker collection of them. So that actually helps out. But I'll also be doing that with axes as well, because I think that would be great. It'll cut down a lot of time. Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time then having to fix them all again. But it's going to be better in the long run. For now, I'm just going to try and work out how best to take these guys on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh no. Am I going to survive it? Hope so. It's not 24 blocks. Yeah. Ooh, that was nearly bad. Ooh, that could have been the end of the series, that. Okay, let's... Uh, how many are left? So, there's a one there, one there. Oh, is it only the two? Okay. Now I have no idea where that other shulker's gone. Sounds like he's on the outside. 
Oh, well, that's not good. I genuinely can't see where he is. That's where he is right there. Oh, did I look at an Enderman? Yes, I looked at Enderman. Great. It looks like the Enderman is still at. Okay, so he's down there. So I think we're actually going to head off now to find a, another tower. Hopefully we can start gaining some more sugar shells. So it looks like we've got our next ender city. So it looks like we've got our next ender city. So hopefully, maybe this one might actually have a boat. If not, then we still can get the sugar shells. It has been tedious though. Just trying to walk through here and not see any endermen. Well, look at any endermen. It's been very difficult. I wonder if the pumpkin trick still works, where if you put a pumpkin over your head, then you look at them, they don't actually realise you've looked at them. Oh, I got another shell. Oh, and there's another one there too. And there we go, there's the second one. Now, the plan is, I hope to have at least five chests worth of soaker shells, simply because that way I can put them in minecarts, well, chests in a minecart, and I can have a full stack in there then. And that'll make it a little bit easier transferring all of the materials over from other projects to a new project. So I think I'm going to be spending some time in here. And there we go. So let's see if we can get to the top. Let's head over this way just to see what's over here. As well as to block off that before I get sent all the way outside again. But yeah, we got another pickaxe. Great. Some gold. That's even good. Okay. And then let's put the saddle in there as well. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find a way to do this. I don't think it's going to be a nice and easy, but hey, I really should have brought a bow. So I think after this one, I think it might just be worth heading back and getting a bow because it is getting ridiculous now. Ah, oh, this is just, it's the most annoying thing ever. Oh, you just try to keep yourself hidden and it just doesn't work. Oh, oh, I need to eat a lot. Well, that's just been me being stupid. Let's, uh, let's try and get healed up a bit. Looks like we got another shulker keep going down here for a little bit oh that's where he was oh well this is great right back to the top i go yeah i think it might be best that i just head back go get a bow and then come back here so what are the coordinates of this place um yeah i'll have to write that all down and i'll be right back because uh yeah it's getting tedious now so i have actually got my bow and i am now back um what i didn't realize about this end tower here when i was actually here the first time is that if you look just over this direction, there's another one just on the back of it, and it looks much larger. So hopefully there's a chance of an elytra in that one. But first, let's just see whether or not we can actually get through this tower and hit them with the bow. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to let them take me all the way to the top of the tower, and then go from there. But this is probably a good time to test out whether or not I can hit them with the bow. Can I not hit them with a bow? Nope, looks like I can't hit them with a bow. Which is a little annoying oh all that time wasted right but at least i got a bow now so uh yeah how am i gonna do this so one quick google search later from what i understand if you let it open ah yeah so once it's open then you can hit it oh wow oh that was stupid uh which way was it ah there we go so it's weird that i missed that completely given how big the structure is but um yeah I think I was just blinded by the fact that the shulkers were right at the front of that one. And that looks like it's going to be fun to try and get to. Great. No, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm just going to get one of these shulkers out, get some stone, and go across. Well, actually, I've got some end stone here. So let's try that first. And to be honest, I don't know why I brought building material with me. I could just use the end that stone that's actually here. Just mine that out and just simply use that as walkways. I'll stack later. Am I any closer? Oh, not too far away. Let's get the shulker box out. I didn't just lose that shulker box. Oh, I just did. That serves me right, that. I should have been closer to it. Oh, that's so annoying. I had all the ender pearls in it. Oh. So it looks like I'm actually going to have to mine the building materials now since the uh, shulker shell went off the side. There's nothing more annoying than that. Oh, I'm so good with myself. Oh, well, this is bad. Well, if I wait here, that should be fine. Oh, great. I looked at another enderman. Oof. That was... Wow. I nearly... Uh, I need to stop being stupid. This is just getting ridiculous. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? Actually, yeah, let's go to the top of the tower and do this. I think that'd be a lot easier. Oh, there's one up here with me. Okay, so let's see where it's in these chests for now. That's some more gold and some iron. Some more gold and iron. Uh, emeralds. I think I'm just... Actually, no, I'll take the emeralds with me. May as well. 
So by the looks of it, that's all of them on this side. So I may as well start jumping down first. Let's get some health. Where are these coming from? Oh, and I didn't even realize through all that, there's actually an ender chest right there. So that's pretty good. Let's go collect some of these shulker shells first. And then, uh, yeah, let's head up. Oh, how did I get hit by that? Okay. And there's another one over here. Perfect. And what's on the chest? Oh, some more diamonds. Some more iron. That's always good. Take the beetroot seeds as well. And uh, yeah, let's take the ender chest with us. I should make it a little bit easier now. So let's go and put the diamonds away. And I should put the end rods in here as well. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. That was stupid. <laughs> Wow, that could have ended poorly. Okay, so now we're at the top. Are these banners supposed to look like that, or are they broken? Where are they coming from? So there must be one on the outside here, because that's the only explanation I can think of. Oh, there's an ender ship over here as well. That's good. Can shulkers hit themselves with their own... Oh, it must be. Look at that shell over there that I need to go get. And yeah, let's just head straight across. Oh, and we got some more iron and a bit of diamond armor. I'm not going to take it with me though, because I've actually got myself a pretty decent set of armor. I don't know how I'm getting hit so much by these. Like, I don't even know where they're coming from. Okay, I'm just going to go up. Like, it's getting to that point now where it's near on impossible to go through that way. Oh, so they probably were firing from that ship over there. That came from below. Ah, okay, there's some over there. I've actually run out of food, so it's probably best I get some more. So with this all done, I'm actually now only needing to do the ship. Now those shulkers over there, I feel like they're going to knock me off if I try and build over there. Because I do not trust my aim enough to throw an ender pearl at that. So uh, let's see how this goes. That's two down. Now, do I have... Oh, I do... Okay, let's use the stone first and then we'll use the... Whoa, hang on. How's that pronounced? Purple? Purple block. Okay. Could have just named it purple. I need to be careful of those endermen as well because I don't want to accidentally end up looking at one. Yeah, that's good. So we got some more shulker shells from that. And we're on 35, so that's not too bad. Uh, is there an easy way in here? I just, yeah, that's probably the easiest way. Oh, the ender dragon head. I completely forgot about that. Break it in a way that I get it back. Hey, there we go. I wonder if there's anything at the top of this mass. Oh, there isn't. Okay. But we may as well take this brune stand with us. Oh, there's potions in that. Oh, of healing. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's another shulker in here. Great. And by the looks of it, yes, there is an elytra. <laughs> Perfect. So not only did we get that, we got the elytra too. There we go. Sky's the limit. Perfect. We're getting some good advancements this time. So with that, we've actually gained quite a few materials. We gained elytra, we got some diamonds, we got some gold, iron. So we've actually gained quite a bit today. And uh, yeah, we've got quite a few shulker shells. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply jump through and collect as much of the shulker shells as I can and then I'll be right back because I feel like if I keep going and just keep going through Ender Sea with Ender Sea then I'm just going to end up being very repetitive on this episode. So what I'll do is I will go around get all the shulker shells that I need and then I'll be right back and we can continue the rest of the episode. So we are now back in the village. Now I actually had to come back because this is all the bread that I have left out of all the stacks of hay bales I had. Now, I've got a few shulker boxes here, as well as the elytra, and 13 ender chests. So we actually did quite well there. And in regards to loot, we didn't get too much. We kept the dragon head and got a couple pickaxes. And we've actually gained a bit of iron, a bit of gold, and a good few amount of diamond, which I was surprised about. I thought it would be a lot less, but hey, I'm not going to complain about having more diamonds. And on top of that, we now also have two chests full of shulker boxes, which is perfect. Because now we actually can carry a lot more material with us when we're actually building all these different builds in the future. And on top of that, we've actually got two chests full of sugar boxes, which is perfect. Because it allows us to carry more materials on us. So that we can actually finish these builds a little bit easier rather than having to run to a central point where everything is. And then simply come back again. So that's going to work out great for the future. So I think for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few bits and pieces around here just to add to the build a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to do any of the interiors just simply because I'm still trying to work out how to finish them off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete doing the walkway. And then I'm also going to see if I can get the wall done. Because at the moment, as you all know, it's just pretty much a stone wall, which isn't really good to look at. But at least we've got the barrier holding it to the ground. But what we'll do, we'll just quickly gain some material. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back and hopefully we can see how it looks. But for now, let's jump into a time lapse.
So with that, we've actually gained all the material that I think I'm going to need for this little bit to be done. Now, I had a little bit of spruce wood left over from the building of these houses, so I've taken that over, and then you just saw the dark oak get collected in that time lapse. I've also actually ran down into the mine and collected some cobbled deep slate so that we can start working on the wall straight after we're done with the actual walkway. So hopefully, let's get this all done and jump into another time lapse. So with that, we have now actually finished up the wall for the surrounding area of the new port, as well as did the dock with all this nice woodwork all the way across the top of it. Now, in the future, I will add some lights on here just so it can brighten it up over the night times, as well as improve some of the houses. Now, some of the houses will have some baskets in the front with like little flowers on, and some will have signs with little lights on too. So hopefully that'll bring in some variation there. But for now, that's the end of the video, so if you could comment, like, and subscribe, that helps out a ton. And just as a friendly reminder, we are trying to hit 100 subscribers on this channel. Now, we are at the total of 56 at the time of making this video, so hopefully that when we get to 75, I think I'll start releasing some more information about what the Build Festival is and how that's going to play out. But for now, that's the end of the video, so I'll see you in the next one.